so I don't know if you're familiar. We do a segment called Unpopular Opinions. Yeah. Um, you guys would do some unpopular opinions. Always. We did a podcast earlier. Chris is known for not always having unpopular opinions yeah. lined up. We've got I've two only today. forgotten that I've already done one one time. Yeah. <laughs> um, oops. All right. So buckle up. Yeah. Uh, the whole Bud like makes you gay joke is so tired at this point. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's I'm so over it. Like I and I love comedy i love anything's a joke like Same. nothing is off limits like there's there's been some good ones with the new oppenheimer movie out there love a good joke about anything <laughs> yeah uh this had it's like 10 15 minutes you know it had its meme it was funny and like no one will let it die yeah like it's just so boring at this point like oh he ordered a bud light ha 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 it's like <laughs> Where's the fun twist on it? You know what I mean? It's It's so boring at this point. Like played out. I know exactly where you're going with every angle. Like just drink your fucking beer. I I'm mad because I was already judging them before the whole thing for drinking Bud Light for just having a poor taste in beer. Yeah. (laughs) And now I'm, you know, now it's no one will drink it for other reasons. I'm like, Yelp suck. Yeah, but you can't hate on it anymore, though, right? No, because now I've got to be like, oh, you should drink the beer. Yeah, like, exactly. Drink the shitty beer. It's yeah, great. Yeah. No, the joke's so overplayed. Like, it's, I, I got people I play with all the time that are still like, you're drinking a Bud Light? Okay, Pansy. It's like, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Let's move on. Did you have you just ordered an espresso martini? Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. And I'm the gay one. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Great yeah. joke. Good times. I really love the internet for all that it's doing out there. Yeah, I feel you. I mean, I think that I think there's a lot. There's I think like like the joke is played out. I think that like I could go down the rabbit hole and all that stuff. But yeah, I think I think the joke is totally played out. I think we definitely move on from the Bud Light yeah. conversation in general. It's just like. All right, dude. It was a risky marketing mm-hmm. ploy. They lost a lot of customers. If you didn't like it, you got what you wanted, and if you did, drink it. Who cares? They're still there. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? They're gonna so, keep making it. Yeah, oh, of course. Yeah. They're, it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, it's yeah. It's just it's it's crazy that people and just like the outrage over it in general is just like you know wasn't it like only like a limited run of cans they did it on yeah, anyway? It, it was one. It was, one? Yeah, it was literally they to her. They they made like what a six pack and sent it yeah. right to her yep. it was not even wididly distributed <laughs> it's literally just a thing for you to put on exactly. your and promote it's not even like they're not even doing a big push oh my god dude. can you believe that much shit came off of six fucking cans of the worst beer you've ever had <laughs> yeah. in your life if you got fucking kid rock shooting it up with an, it with ar-15 so i dude like, like, relax, bro. Dude, one round of that ammo costs more than the fucking <laughs> six pack. I mean, by you know, far. Like, yeah. What the fuck are you thinking? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really, real cool. Um, <laughs> it's real cool. <laughs> real nice. <laughs> what do you think, Johnny? You, you are you ready for more uh, Bud Light jokes? Or <laughs> I, dude, I, I don't even drink beer. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The whole, the whole Bud Light thing. I don't. I mean, it doesn't taste good to me, but neither does any other beer. So yeah, I feel that. I've always been a whiskey guy myself. Yeah. yeah, I don't drink anymore, but when I was, I was heavy on the bourbon. Yeah, that was my drink of choice. What about you? Um, you know, I drink a lot of cider. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but like I said, I've never really been a drinker. So when I did drink, it was either a cider, and then of course with fire water, it's whiskey after whiskey after whiskey. Yeah, so <laughs> got yeah. to got to like a little bit of whiskey, but that's about it. Yeah, I what? love my coffee. Oh yeah, yep. big time. I've been All day. heavy on that for a few months now. Oh, I'm yeah. on, on the coffee, big time. <laughs> <laughs> you got an unpopular opinion? Just that uh, podcasts are way better than listening to music. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally, that, that is that. a good unpopular opinion. I mean, that is, that's literally all I. You know, I, I drove from Mayport to Middleburg and then back to Mayport and then here, and so I listened to was it a. Uh, two or no one and a half joe rogan podcast so, nice yeah. <laughs> he's man you know talk about a guy who gets a lot of slack yeah. these days um i don't think that there's anybody who's more misrepresented oh yeah than him that's another good point too like you know? like uh, i don't know like people write him off as this dumb jock and like he's far from that no but, i mean yeah. and he even he'll call himself dumb before anyone else gets the yeah. chance to he's like i'm just a funny dude that likes talking to people like exactly. why are you taking me so seriously yeah. i'm just having a conversation well and then and then people will hang their hat up on that conversation like oh he said and believes this he's like 
it's just an entertainment thing, you know yeah. what I mean? What are you doing? Well, I think I don't totally disagree with you on this, but I do have some pushback on it because if he was only interviewing comedians, then I would say, okay. Yeah. But he's getting like real people on oh, yeah. that are like experts in their field yep. and he's interviewing them and then he's engaging in a real conversation and having real thoughts about things, yeah, right? For hours too. For yeah, hours. Just five minutes. Right. Yeah. Like they, they go down the rabbit hole and he's a great interviewer. Yeah. yeah. Right. But you can't use the I'm a comedian thing as a scapegoat when, totally you, when, when, you say, yeah. when, when you say things that are either incorrect or you said something in the moment, yeah. right? In a serious, in the context of a serious conversation, I think that you should own up to that and be like, "Yeah, I was wrong here," yeah. or whatever. And sometimes Which he, he has, sometimes he times. does, he, he does do that, right? But there's also other times where he's like, "But also, I'm a comedian. You can't take what I say." It's like, dude, yeah. yeah, but like you weren't interviewing a comedian; you were interviewing a doctor. It doesn't yeah. matter. So, you know it, I mean? a, it doesn't. I mean, like, I don't know. That's kind of. I, I think that's stupid. I think it's like. He still is a comedian. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, that's who he, that's his ethos. That's what he that's is. That's his mindset. Just because he's talking to someone else that is that doesn't mean like, okay, cool. I have to now not be who I am because I'm talking to someone that knows what nah, the fuck they're talking about. You can tell the difference though when somebody is trying to be funny versus when somebody's trying to make a point. And sometimes he's not. And look, I say this again as a big Joe Rogan supporter. Yeah, I, I like him a lot. I think he's a net positive for society. Yeah. I love his podcast. That being said, I think he's wrong on. I think he's been wrong on some things, and I and I think he usually admits to it. Yeah. But also, I just don't agree with comedians using this. Well, I'm a comedian, so you know you can't take. It's like, dude. Well, no, you can't just. That doesn't give you a license to just get away with shit, right? Yeah. I'm not saying that you can't go for a joke or you can't have an opinion that's wrong, especially in the public sphere. But when people come after you for it, yeah. that's just kind of what it is, especially for the guys like like Tony Hinchcliffe or Joe Rogan, people that are big, like, I want the government out of my shit type thing. Yeah. Okay, well, if you, like, I'm I'm all for it too, guys. But if you want the government out of the, out of your shit, then it's in the court of public opinion now. Yeah. And that's what happens. People get canceled and the public takes it into their own hands when there's no recourse from the government. I'm all for it, but then you got to be okay with the cancel culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you can only get canceled by the people that support you, and they clearly haven't done that. They haven't done that, You know what I mean? So, like, like, you know, that and, like, people he'll he'll talk to will correct him. You know what I mean? It's not like they'll just, like, let something blatantly wrong slide unless they're – I mean, I I hadn't seen it. I also do a fair bit of his stuff. I also think he gets gets very wrapped up in the uh, – I think he he, – there's a lot of, like – Con- there's a lot of like stuff and I hate this term woke okay I think it's so overused and just no, it is. done with it already but like and I'm not, either way um, I think that there's a lot of people that that use that as a as a form to troll the masses right so there'll be like these ideas that that come out under the guise of like wokeism quote unquote mm-hmm. and um, it's like some ridiculous concept and then Joe Rogan will come on a show, but you see what they're talking about this now. It's like, dude, that's like not real though. You know that, right? Well, it's but like also sometimes he doesn't know because like, he's older too. It's yeah. like, well, and it's so topical and like, you know, yeah. he, he does two a days as well and he's doing six hours behind a podcast. No, it's totally. Sometimes you just gotta, you know, it's on my head. I'm going to talk about it. Okay. Well, I was wrong. Guess what? There's. 400 more hours of other shit you can listen to of my same thing. You know what I mean? Totally. It's like you just got to spit shit out and go. Of course. Um, I'm just know. saying sometimes it's just, you know, I think it's it's great to support people. I just also think it's not like like not everything that they do, like, like the people have flaws, you know, and I think one of his flaws is that he buys into some of the troll culture, yeah. right? And then because of his platform, he can actually push it in a way that he doesn't m- maybe mean to. Yeah. And then it can become like a real thing. Oh, yeah. So I think it's important to like, you know, for, for me as someone who listens, I listen to almost every episode that comes out because I just, I like him as an interviewer. And I think he's a cool person too. He sounds like it anyways. But when I hear him do shit like that, I'm like, dude, this is not real. And maybe don't be talking about it in a way that seems like you think it's real. Yeah. Cause then people buy into it and it just perpetuates the outrage culture. I think, you yeah. know, I also feel like it's, in a mi- minority, uh, when that even happens yeah, at yeah. all, if it, you know, it's totally, a, it's an it's a interesting conversation to have, but it's I feel like it's pretty rarely the thing, you know, with his shit anyway. You know, it's like if it happens, it happens. You know, it'll it'll get corrected, or someone will do some research and they can figure out it's not. You know what I mean? It's like 
there's not to me not a ton of weight on it. It's just like dudes just sitting there talking. Might have it, might not have it. I don't know. Yeah. You know? But to go like to not make this a whole Joe Rogan segment. Yeah. In general, yeah, podcasts are the shit. It, uh, what a great unpopular opinion, especially on the music <laughs> podcast, <laughs> which is like the whole thing. <laughs> I'm surprised no one's ever said that before. Yeah. It's like I, I love it. Um, I don't. I don't know if it's certainly unpopular. I don't know yeah. if I fully subscribe that I like podcasts more than listening to music, but I will. I I will say that I listen to more. I I listen to podcasts more than I listen yeah, to music. Same here, for sure. For sure. And more than I watch TV at this point. Oh you know? yeah, I, I don't. I do not. Well, I don't even bother with television anymore. I mean, yeah. Netflix streaming. If I'm watching a, that's like what, a certain that's show, that's what I mean. I mean, podcast over streaming. But now it's I definitely go to YouTube before I'll go to Hulu or anything like that. Yeah, and totally. Just, I mean, that's just where I'm. There's so much good stuff. So I'm engaged. I'm just pulling up my unpopular opinion. It's yeah, on, it's yeah, in my yeah. notes here. I have to write them down because I got a lot of them. You know I what I mean? <laughs> don't want to repeat. <laughs> okay, um, we kind of touched on this on one of our. On the, one of the last podcast, but it wasn't um, it wasn't an unpopular opinion. But here it is: <sighs> Can we turn the fucking TVs off at cover gigs, oh, dude? <laughs> oh my yeah, god, I, we did have a little touch on that. Um, I fucking yeah. dude, like especially when it's right above the stage. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. bro! There's one place that I play that just they used to turn it off, and then the the staff. Uh, during COVID all left that place and now it's all yeah. new staff and they stopped doing it after COVID. But they used to turn the TV off that was at least right above us. Now they just leave it on. And I'm just like... Wouldn't be a place that canceled all your gigs recently, would it? No, it's not that place. Okie dokie. Yeah. But, but, you know, it's the other place that you thought it was originally. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, bro, like I can't compete with sports, no. especially like a Jaguars game in a city where the culture is like everything revolves around the revolves around the Jaguars. Oh, yeah. here. This, I mean, there's, there's a rich music history in Jacksonville, but music is not the culture here. Mm -hmm. It is football yep. and surfing. Yeah. Right. I yeah. mean, that's basically what it is. So if I'm playing music in a bar and I, you want me to entertain your crowd, why would you make me compete with the television? I mean, I was at a place uh, down in Orlando. Uh, my friend w took me to this open mic and I walked in. I was going to play because I, I, I have some new tunes I want to try out. So I was going to play, but I walk into Smoky Bar. There's nobody in there other than like a couple people just sitting there just chain smoking cigarettes at yeah. the bar. It's like this, this guy is like singing uh, and he was pretty good, but like it was just, it was very like just felt ugh, like destitute, yeah. you know? And on the, the, the televisions are on. And they're playing movies, like old movies, with no sound or subtitles. I'm like, why do you even have them on? Wow. It's like, can you just turn them off and let this guy have a little spotlight? Yeah. He's playing songs yeah. that he wrote. And so I looked at my friend and I was like, hey, man, I'm not playing here. Yeah. Like, I don't, I, I'm not above, you know, like a gig. But at the same time, this isn't a gig. And yeah. I don't need to be here on a night off. Exactly. You know what I mean? Devil's Advocate. Yeah. It's, I kind of like it because it tells me how hard I have to work that night. And I don't like working harder than I have to. <laughs> um, if you're if you're telling me that you don't give a fuck, then I definitely don't give a fuck. And I appreciate that because then there's like this unspoken contract of like, all right, cool. People are doing other shit here. I'm not really going to like if they're really giving it to me, fine. But my baseline is not going to be uh, super hardworking at that point. If If they are asking for it, I'll go there. But if I walk in, the TV's on, and I'm just going to start, and I'm like, okay, we're doing this, then cool. Okay. Looper's going on. I'm chilling. I'm hanging out. My check stays the same, you know? Uh, it's I, disrespectful, and I make a mental note of that. Yeah. But you're telling me how hard I get to work, and I don't mind that. I'm, I have a point I want to make on this, but do you have anything to say on this subject? Yeah, it's uh, – we've – not played until games have been over just because i mean you know and, and we've played when games are going on and like a, a crowd full of or a room full of people that's cheering for something that just happened yeah will definitely be louder than anything you're playing and that's just that that hurts <laughs> totally man. it definitely hurts totally but and and like and here's the thing okay like it does hurt and also to your point about um about how hard you have to work. It's more important to me that I'm here doing something that I should love to do, right? Mm -hmm. Now, 
when I walk into a room and I'm already playing for a disenfranchised audience, they don't really give a shit, right? Yeah. No one walked in expecting to be an audience here tonight, yeah. right? So I have to now, for these people that don't care about me being here now, also there's a game on or even just some bullshit movie that no one's even watching, okay. whatever. Um, I have to now compete with this. It makes it makes me feel undervalued, underappreciated, and yes, it hurts. And then I leave there feeling like, what am I even doing? Yeah, exactly. I'm not I'm not inspired to play. I'm not inspired to write. I'm not inspired to practice. And then ultimately, it's why so many people in towns like this give up on playing music yeah. because there's no support from people outside of that are directly involved with music. It's usually other musicians, which is hard for us to support each other because yeah. we're all working at the same time. Exactly. And a small group of people, which we love you guys, that come out to like the jam sessions yeah. or they come out to see their favorite bands play t night after night. Uh -huh. And those people are like, thank you for doing that. It, it means the world to us. Exactly. But there's a million other people in the city that don't give a fuck about what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And to have to compete with that it lets us know where we stand in this town yeah, exactly. or in towns across the board. And yes, it lets me know how, how hard I have to work that night, but I don't want to feel that way. And it, that's it's uninspiring. I, sure. And that's the, that's, you know, something I do personally and I would implore anyone to do it, but like, I do not set my value on those gigs. Like, no, and I know, what, I know, I know that. And you know where I'm going, but like, I've got five original creative projects that are all doing their thing. Like that, Going to play bar A, B, or C is is punching the clock. Like, yes, I love the work and I'm good at it and this and that, but like it could go great, it could go terrible, it does not move my needle at all. And like everyone's different, you know what I mean? But for me, like, okay, put the game on, have a mariachi party in the on the dance floor. <laughs> I'm gonna go up there and play my 30 to 35 songs. Either put money in my jar or don't. I'm going to get the check and I'm going to go home. Yeah. Like, sure. There's some good nights. There's some great nights and those do. Yeah. They help there. But if it's a bad night, don't care. I, you know what I'm, I'm, cause I've got, all right, my fusion band is going to rehearse the next day. Then we're going into the studio the night after that. And then we're going on a run this next week. You know, it's like that one night with the TV on, with the people being complete chodes, just not, it just doesn't, wear on me no, like totally. it does on some people yeah, yeah. And, and everyone's a little bit different you know it's yeah and for most people it's also not just one night it's like their livelihood where they're doing it five nights a week well you know one day at a time right yeah, <laughs> yeah. and then <laughs> and overall like yeah you can put up with it on a gig per gig basis it's fine yeah but it's just it's bad for the morale overall i right? agree oh yeah, yeah. If, yeah. If, if 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 you're if you're at a at a corporate job mm -hmm. all right and you're li you're working in a place that you feel is, for lack of a better term, uh, detrimental to your mental stability, mm -hmm. then it doesn't inspire you to want to be better for that job, sure. right? That maybe as an individual, you can take it on a day-by-day -day basis. Like, man, that paycheck at the end of the week is really good. I got a family to support. I'm doing it, right? And then when I, when I leave here, I leave it at the job. And I come home and I be a family person. That's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, and that's totally fair. But overall for the morale of of yeah. of a culture it's not good and it's does it's not sustainable for if you want mm -hmm. that culture to exist in the place you need to value it more than that right not you i'm no, saying no, like, no, like, the, I know, the, I know. like the bars totally. and just in general i totally yeah um, when you get when you get silence after a song God, it's the worst. It's brutal, <laughs> bro. It's, it's the worst. You crush, and it's like nothing for that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, there's you get silence because there's a, a game on or something like that. That's that's rough. But man, we played. Uh, I've played a few of them, but the the Outlaws Motorcycle Club. Oh yeah. We've played some of their um, their parties at their club's house, and um, we've done it a few times in Firewater. And so I've, I was pretty used to it, and uh, and we got asked as a Bryce Allister band to do it, and I had to tell them. I said, "Look, guys, it's it's going to be it's going to be a rough gig because nobody's going to clap. Nobody's it, there. It's just going to be eyes on you, and th there's no emotion. Like it, you're going to feel like you're doing the worst you've ever played in in your life. But when you get off stage, they're going to praise you. They're going to love you. Like they're going to say what a great thing it is, and and you know the, you'll probably get." gigs after that and blah 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 and so we show up to the the gig and 
it's it's exactly like I told them, and I can see everybody in the band's just you know sweating. And it's like, man, you know, you we just rocked our asses off, and there's not one clap, not a whistle, nothing. It's just dead silent. It takes it but, out of you, uh, man. It, it it's it's so rough. But we got off stage, and they pretty much swarm us. I mean, you guys are awesome. We love you guys, and we won't want you on the next one, and all this stuff. Like, really? We didn't show any of that. I know, dude. Right? Like, <laughs> I thought we were about to get our asses kicked. <laughs> right? I know, bro. <laughs> I know it's it's hard, man. It's it's really, I don't like to be the musician that complains about the things because, like, yeah. you know, there's worse careers to have. Oh yeah, and like, and all that. But you know, we we oftentimes put it all out on the table, yeah. and it just gets left there. And you're like, well, I'm not getting anything in return. Yeah, and like, I can leave a three hour or especially a four hour gig, you know just totally depleted oh yeah and you're like man i feel like i just worked a full day yeah, yeah. you know yep we all want good work environments guys yeah exactly. so the end listen, of the day listen to the podcast turn off a fucking tv or two yeah exactly you know? clap please clap. clap please clap maybe throw another 50 100 bucks on that yeah, check exactly. too you know what i mean please it's not, hurt. it's not hurting anybody please validate us we need it <laughs> <laughs> we're not our, narcissists or anything our only no. sense of worth is music <laughs> <laughs> it's true though yeah i know real talk 